You're a fast and furious racer on a tropical island. You find a new motorbike online and call the salesman to arrange a test drive. Later that day, you arrive at the meeting point and see two guys with two identical motorbikes. One of them is the seller you spoke with, and the other one is a scammer who wants to sell you a stolen vehicle. Who's deceiving you? Think carefully, and feel free to leave your answer in the comments. The salesman text message has the logo of his motorcycle store. The guy on the right has a baseball hat with the same logo. Therefore, he must be the store's official representative. Therefore, the guy on the left is a scammer. Congrats! The motorbike is now yours. You hit the road and you make your way across the pier. Suddenly, you spot three people. Whom will you save first? Let us know in the comments! The teen is playing with a rattlesnake, which looks pretty dangerous. But luckily, it's not real, see? It has a barcode on the side, so it's just a toy. The lady is about to jump into the sea infested with sharks. But look carefully, she's just posing. Her boyfriend is filming a video. He's the only one who needs to be saved here because he's standing on rotten old wood. It's about to collapse so he risks ending up swimming with sharks for real. You save the day and continue your ride. Oh no! The main road is closed for repairs. So you only have three options to return to your bungalow. The first route is the notorious mountain spiral road, known for its rockfalls. The second road is flat, but it leads through a jungle inhabited by crocodiles. And the third road is half flooded because it lies through the old cursed swamp. Which way will you choose to stay alive? Don't forget to share your answer in the comments section below. Take a closer look at the second route. The sign says, Crocodile Farm. This means that the crocs are kept indoors under supervision. So this is the safest choice. You take the second route and decide to visit the crocodile farm. Let's see how eagle-eyed you are. Who's in danger here? Write it down in the comments faster than the other bright side detectives. This tourist has crossed the barrier. The tourist's name is Mimi. You help her get out of the barrier safely, but in the process, she scratches her leg. So you bring Mimi to the local hospital. Can you spot anything suspicious here? If you nailed it, please share your answer. Easy peasy, the windshield of this ambulance car is covered with white paint. You enter the building and face three surgeons in the lobby. Which doctor is dangerous? Don't let the imposter get away. Share your suspicions. The first doctor is sleeping, but maybe she's just tired after a long shift. The second lady doesn't wear any gloves, but it's not a crime. She's having a coffee break. Meanwhile, the third lady's nails are too long and fancy for a surgeon's work. And she brought an open medical syringe to the lobby, which is not very hygienic. The doctor takes Mimi away. You decide to have a walk around the hospital and face the following scene. Two greatest enemies, Gia and Kai, wake up simultaneously in a hospital room. Both immediately grab the scissors and try to cut each other's IV drips. Who's more likely to survive? Think carefully and tell us your answer in the comments. Someone whose drip is cut farther away from the arm has a better chance of surviving. This way, more medicine will manage to get into the body, and our hero will win extra time before the doctors arrive. 
so it's likely going to be Gia. You're starving, so you go to the local food court. Too late, it's already closed. Oh look, this kiosk is still working. There are three burgers left to choose from, but only one of them is safe to eat. Hit the like button if you can spot any poisoned food right away. The first burger was cooked five days ago, according to its tag. Um, no, thank you. The third one was prepared today, but there's a fly sitting on the meat. Flies can spread diseases. Only the second burger, which is packed in cling film, is a safe option. Does anyone have a better answer? Feel free to share. The next day, you go to the local beauty salon to get a haircut. Unluckily, one of these hairdressers is a maniac. Write your answer in the comments if you can guess who. It's the second hairdresser. The fire haircut technique is pretty normal these days. But he's also hiding an axe in his pocket, which is far from normal. Busted! Your haircut is done, and now it's time to chat with your buddies. They send you some selfies. Sally is getting ready to skydive. Bobby is taking a yoga class. And Caleb is riding an ATV through a desert. Who's least likely to survive? Give this video a thumbs up if you already know the answer. Although Bobby is twisted in an incredible position, his teacher is watching his back. Scorpions are no threat to Caleb unless he gets out of his vehicle. But take a look at Sally's picture. There's lightning in the sky. It's not safe to skydive in a thunderstorm. You're walking in the jungle and find three banana palms. One of them is poisonous. Can you guess which one? Okay, the first stack looks bad at first glance because its bananas have turned dark, but it doesn't mean that they're poisonous. The third palm has the fewest bananas, so probably many people were eager to eat them. But take a look under the second palm. Someone picked a banana, took a bite, and then just dropped it on the ground. That's suspicious. So, this is the dangerous palm. But if you have a different opinion, please let us know in the comments. In the evening, you go to the local carnival. Three ladies want to dance with you, but unfortunately, only one of them is a safe partner. Can you guess who's dangerous? Think carefully, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments. Although the first lady is wearing a cute rabbit mask, she's a thief. She's sneaking a phone from a guy in the crowd. Take a closer look at the third lady. A broken glass bottle sticks out of her pocket. It's not very safe to dance around her. Thus, only the second lady is safe. There are three routes you can take. The first path is covered with hot coals. The second with gross worms and toads. The third one with beautiful roses. Which path would you choose? Be sure to let us know in the comments. Hot coals can burn through your shoes and rose thorns can scratch your skin. So the second path is the best option. These creatures are no threat to humans. These two chefs cook over an open fire. One of them is in serious danger. If you already know who, hurry up to be the first to share it in the comments. Well, well, take a closer look at the first chef. His scarf is already smoking. It's about to burst into flames. Fire alarm! The next day, you go for a walk on the beach. There's an open shower on the shore. You spot three guys washing off the sand after swimming in the sea. 
whom will you save? The third guy is in danger. Take a look at the bottle he's using to wash his hair. It says bleach. Bad idea, buddy. Hit the like button if you nailed it. Jake is a very rich guy. He lives in a mansion with a gardener, a cook, and a housemaid. One day he goes on a business trip and returns two days later. Oh no, someone put a huge coffee stain on his exclusive white sofa. Jake gets furious and interrogates his staff. The housemaid says, Yesterday I had a day off, so I spent it outside the mansion. As for today, I cleaned the living room first, and then I focused on the bathrooms, and the sofa was fine. The gardener says, Yesterday new plants were delivered. I was very busy planting six palm trees in front of the house, so I didn't have the chance to chill indoors. And the cook says, I was trying new recipes in the kitchen and filming vlogs for my subscribers. I never hang out in your living room, sir. Who's lying? It's the gardener. There's no palms in front of Jake's mansion. Jake goes hiking alone. He's in the middle of a dark forest. Suddenly, a witch appears in front of him. She casts a spell and teleports Jake to her cabin. The witch offers him a deal. The only chance to escape is to drink one of my three potions. If you guess it right, you're free to go. If not, you'll be my prisoner forever. Can you figure out which potion Jake should drink? Take a closer look at the emojis that imply the potion ingredients. If we write out the first letters of each ingredient, we'll get sleep, escape, and blind. So, Jake should pick the second potion. Jake drinks the potion and teleports to a desert island. There's only one coconut tree and one banana tree, but Jake can only eat from one of them. Which tree should he choose? The coconut tree. It can provide both food and water, while the banana tree only provides food. Thankfully, Jake sees a boat passing by. It's filled with people. Jake rubs his eyes and takes a look again. The boat is still there, but Jake doesn't see a single person on it. Why? Because all the people are married, the boat takes Jake to the nearest town. There are four people standing on the pier. One of them is a cop working undercover. Can you guess who? It's this guy in a sports suit. There are cuffs sticking out of his pocket. Jake is walking down a black street. He's wearing all black, black shoes, socks, trousers, coat, gloves, and balaclava. All the street lamps are off. A black car is coming towards Jake and its headlights are turned off. How did the driver see Jake? It's daytime. Jake is starving. So he decides to go check out the local bakery and purchase some snacks. The price for one cherry donut is 50 cents and one apple donut costs $2. They also have lemon donuts. The price is $1.50 per item. Can you calculate the price for one blueberry donut? To solve this mystery, we should remember the color sequence in the rainbow. The price increases by 50 cents from red to purple. So the price for one purple donut is $3.50. Jake's mother wants him to get married as soon as possible. That's why she arranges a blind date for him. The lady's name is Karen. 
Today, they're meeting for lunch. This is the first time Jake and Karen are going to meet in person, and they haven't seen any pictures of each other. Karen texts Jake, I'll wear gold hoop earrings. Jake arrives at the restaurant. There are three ladies. All of them are wearing gold hoops. Can you help Jake find his Karen? Let's take a look at the second table. There are two dinner servings and cutlery for two people. This lady is already with someone. The third lady has already drunk half of her milkshake, and she's busy working on her laptop. She's not here for a date, so Karen is the first lady. The next morning, Jake arrives at his office. There's a huge gift box on his desk. The sender is unknown. Only three people are in the office today. Mia, Prudence, and Paul. Jake questions them. Mia says, I was preparing and printing some documents for you. We have a great business deal to sign. Paul says, My alarm didn't work today. I overslept and just arrived. I don't know who brought the gift. And Prudence says, I don't know who did it. I was trying to fix the printer, but it won't work. Someone broke it yesterday. Who's lying? Mia printed the documents for Jake this morning, and she's holding them in her hands. Therefore, Prudence is lying. Jake takes two pictures of his office room. Take your time and try to spot 10 differences between them. Ready to see the answer? Here they are! He's in the middle of a creepy abandoned village in the woods. It starts raining heavily. Jake finds an old cabin and hides inside it. Jake wanders around for a while and finds three doors leading outside. But each path hides some dangers. There's a huge fire behind the first door. There are wild animals waiting behind the second door. And the third passage is filled with toxic gas. Humans can't survive after breathing it in. Can you help Jake choose the right door? The first one. It's been raining heavily in the woods. And the doors leading outside the house. So the fire was gone a long time ago. Jake checks the maps. Karen's place is nearby. So he decides to walk. On the way, he finds three bushes with different herbs. Yay! I can collect some of them to put in tea. But only one of these herbs is actually safe. Can you guess which one? The first herb caused a rash on Jake's hand, and the third one looks pretty stinky. So he should take the second one. Finally, Jake arrives at Karen's house. She shows him around. Can you spot three emojis hidden in her living room? Here they are! Then, Jake goes to the bathroom to wash his hands. Can you find three hidden emojis here? Hello! And finally, Jake lands in the kitchen. There are three emojis here. Can you see them? There you go! Karen is cooking dinner. She asks Jake to go to the storage room to get one last ingredient. But instead of saying directly, she gives him this weird shopping list. Can you help Jake figure out the ingredient? The number implies the letter we should pick out of each word. The encrypted word is pepper. And now, let's take a look at the color of the note. It's written with a red marker. 
Therefore, Jake needs to get a red pepper. Karen picks some flowers in her garden and puts them in a vase on her table. Can you find the correct shadow? The third one. What about this necklace? Can you spot the correct shadow? The first one is the perfect match. Let's see if you can find a shadow that belongs to this book. The fourth option is correct. Jake turns on the TV news. Airport security guards got an urgent report. One of the passengers came back to the country with a stolen ancient treasure from Paris. The guards initiated a check. The mysterious passenger blended into the crowd, but they managed to find four suspects. Jake spots the thief right away. What about you? All we know about the thief is that he arrived from Paris. Therefore, the stickers on the suitcase can be helpful. Several guys have stickers with Paris, but take a look at this guy's suitcase. The Parisian sticker is on top of the others, so he's the thief. I feel your brain needs some nice tricky workout. I've got just the thing. Are you ready? Yeah. It was raining heavily in the evening. Lauren told her young daughters to go to bed. Sometime later, she went to check on them. As soon as she opened the door to their room, she realized that one of them had sneaked out and returned without her permission. Look at the room and try to figure out which girl it was. It was the girl on the left. Look, both pairs of sneakers are in their place, but the ones on the left are covered with dirt. Alexa has been running at the stadium every day for several months, preparing for upcoming athletic competitions. And they start today. Alexa is warming up when she notices a skinny guy among other runners. His legs look thin and seem to be weak. Alexa feels skeptical about his running abilities. Anyway, they get into the starting position. Three, two, one, go! Alexa is running as fast as she can. Suddenly she notices that the guy she paid attention to earlier is running much faster than her, and he doesn't even look tired. Eventually, he wins. But how did he do it? He's not a real athlete. In fact, he isn't even a human. He doesn't sweat, he doesn't blink, and he has two left hands. Yikes. A guy bought a fishing pole that was 6 feet 3 inches long. When he wanted to get on the bus with this fishing pole, the driver stopped him. The man told the guy that he couldn't take anything longer than 6 feet onto the bus. The guy went back into town and bought one more thing, and the driver allowed him on the bus. What did the guy buy, and what did he do with it? The guy bought a six-fifth long box. He put the fishing pole in it diagonally, and the entire package turned out to be only six feet long. Julia was angry with her boyfriend. She sent a message to her best friend who lived abroad. In this message, the girl complained about the mistakes the guy had made. But her friend sent her a very strange reply. Give, get, give, get, give, get, give, get. What did Julia's friend mean? She wanted to say that Julia should forgive and forget. Gemma was a mermaid living in the Pacific Ocean. One day she was swimming near the surface when she spotted two handsome guys. Both of them seemed to be in trouble. Look at them attentively and try to figure out who Gemma should save first. This wooden boat is indeed filled with water but it's still okay, and the guy inside can scoop this water out. 
but this guy's inflatable boat is damaged. He will soon find himself in the water, and this shark will be all too happy to snack on him. He needs Gemma's help urgently. One hotel guest discovered her diamond necklace and earrings were missing after a party in the lobby. Someone must have stolen her jewelry. The hotel management invited a detective. After questioning all guests and staff members, the detective had three suspects. Walter, another hotel guest, Alice, a maid, and Alan, a porter. The detective decided to check their rooms. What he saw was enough for him to understand who the thief was. Can you figure it out too? It's Alice. There's an already packed suitcase in her room. She's about to run away with the stolen jewelry. Galaxy Detective Varamcha was on a case. A spaceship was lost. Her partner, Galaxy Junior Detective Brightbulb, gave her a piece of paper. It was the location of the spaceship. This is what the slip had scribbled on it. Juice, umbrella, potato, ice, tomato, elephant, rice. Where do you think the spaceship is? Right, it's on Jupiter. You just need to pay attention to the first letters of these words. Look at these girls. It seems to be a tough competition. But guess what? One of these girls is cheating. Can you figure out who it is? It's the girl on the left. Strangely, she doesn't look tired. Ah, do you see that USB port in her neck? She's a robot. Someone stole the money Adam kept in his safe. After watching the security footage, oh the police God. figured out that it had happened at midnight. They questioned three suspects. Julia said she'd gone to bed at 10 p.m. and fallen asleep right away. Parker told the detective he'd been watching TV from 11.45 p.m. to 1 a.m. And Aiden said he'd been with his friends, playing computer games all night. The police arrested the thief. Who was it? It was Parker. He was suspiciously specific about the time. Elijah went on a cruise. On the third day, he noticed that one of the staff members was an imposter. Look at them attentively and try to guess who it is. This waitress is actually hiding a police badge under her floral garland. She must be undercover. Samantha needed to check something online, but her phone's battery was flat. She grabbed her brother's device, but it was password protected. Suddenly, a hint appeared on the screen. While I am in the air, I am not in oxygen. I am also in water, but not in hydrogen. I am necessary for all animals, but you won't find me in a zoo. Look in all brains, and you'll find me there too. Can you figure out the password? It's the letter A. Dora went to study for her exam in a coffee shop. She ordered some tea with milk, opened her laptop, and started working. At one point, she went to the bathroom. When she returned, her okay. laptop wouldn't switch on and her cup was empty. Someone had spilled the tea on her computer, causing it to crash. Dora called the manager and told him what had happened. They came up with three suspects. The barista said he had been extremely busy and hadn't seen anything. The supervisor said he was sorry the milk tea had spilled on the computer. He also promised to check if the insurance would cover the cost. The second barista was also sorry about her milk tea damaging the computer. He offered Dora to make her another cup while they were waiting for the police to arrive. The manager immediately understood who had ruined Dora's laptop. Have you figured it out? It was the supervisor. He couldn't have known the tea had milk in it. As for the second barista, he knew about the milk because he was the one to prepare Dora's order. Caroline went for a walk in the park. Deep in her thoughts, the girl wasn't really looking where she was going. 
That's why she didn't notice a deep pit in the ground and fell into it. When she came round, she found herself in a strange room. There were no windows, no door. The girl saw a table with three apples on it. And was it a note? To get out of this trap, you've got to eat an apple, but only one of them isn't poisoned. Pick carefully. Caroline was terrified. But after examining the apples, she bravely bit into one of them. And nothing bad happened. Which apple did she choose? The girl chose the apple with a worm peeking out of it. If it could eat the fruit, a human probably could too. Detective Adam Bonders worked undercover at a luxurious yeah. resort. The police suspected that the hotel owners were involved in some shady deals. Adam's main task was to sneak into the manager's office and check the documents. But the door was locked, and there was a combination lock. Uh -oh. Adam had to figure out the password. The detective knew he needed to solve a math riddle, and the answer would be the code. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 times 0 plus 1 equals. As soon as he punched in the code, the door opened. What was the correct number? It's 30. There are no mathematical symbols at the end of the first and second lines. It means the whole thing looks like this. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 11 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 11 plus 1 times 0 plus 1 equals 30. Oliver is walking in the rain. Suddenly, he sees a woman without an umbrella or hat. But she's not getting wet at all. How is this possible? The woman is walking inside a covered area, such as a covered sidewalk. Four friends go hiking and take a picture by the lake. Can you spot anything weird? This guy doesn't have any reflection in the water. Sarah checks into a fancy hotel. She feels very hungry, but unfortunately Sarah missed the dinner hours. That's why she calls room service and orders a vegan dinner set. Fifteen minutes later, someone knocks on her door. She looks through the peephole first. Sarah. Oh great, a fake waitress! How did she know? The waitress is fake because she didn't know that Sarah ordered a vegan meal. Kelly and Kim start a quarrel on the plane. It's Kim's private jet, so she wants everything to be her way. But Kelly gets mad at her. She runs up to the exit door, opens it and jumps out. It happens so fast that the crew don't have time to do anything. Kelly doesn't have a parachute. She breaks her leg but survives. How come? The plane had already landed. Nick is driving down the road and his car runs out of gas. He sees a cabin in the woods and decides to ask for help. When he gets there, he finds three people inside. They offer to help him, but only if he agrees to stay there forever. Why? Nick stumbled upon a group of runaway criminals. They're afraid that he would tell others about their location. Early in the morning, Detective Robinson receives a call from his neighbor, Ethan. Ethan. Please, come as soon as possible. Someone attacked my wife. Robinson arrives at Ethan's house and sees this scene. Can you guess what happened to his wife? Take a look at the calendar on the wall. They pranked the detective because it was April 1st. The city has been taken over by zombies. Let's take a look at this group. Only one of these zombies is a male. Can you guess who? The first zombie is wearing a bra, and the second one has a badge with a female picture and name. Therefore, 
only the third zombie is a male. Tom works in a secret agency specializing in people with psychic abilities. He's having an interview with three people claiming to be superheroes, but only one of them really possesses some supernatural powers. Can you help him spot this person? Take a look at the third lady. She's holding her phone with the power of her mind without even touching it. Stella and Bella go on vacation. They take two pictures on the beach. Can you spot 10 differences between them? You can pause the video if you need additional time. Ready to see all the 10 differences? Here they are. Steve arrives at work and turns on the corporate laptop. Oh no, someone has changed the password. Steve looks around and finds a sticker with a clue. 32, 18, and 29. He enters the number, but it doesn't work. Can you help him crack the code? Steve should literally enter three twos, one eight, and two nines through underscores. 222, 8, 99. Gabriel is an art teacher. He enters the studio to check his students' work. One of these people is a ghost. Can you guess who? It's the model. She's posing for a portrait, but everyone sees through her. Dan wakes up in a creepy cage. He needs to figure out a five-number code to escape. He only has this picture as a clue. Can you help Dan crack the code? To solve this mystery, we need to count the number of legs that each object in this picture has. The human has two legs, the fish has zero, the ladybug has six, the dog has four, and finally the spider has eight legs. So the correct code is 20648. Alex went hiking and got lost in the woods. The sun had already set when he finally found a road. Three drivers stop and offer him a ride to the nearest village. Can you help Alex choose the safest option? There's a zombie arm sticking out of the second car's trunk, and the third driver has suspicious pointy ears and shiny eyes, so he's probably a werewolf. Therefore, Alex should probably trust the first driver. I'm very easy to lift, but very hard to throw. What am I? I'm a feather. Kim downloads a dating app hoping to find her true love. She likes these three men equally. They begin to chat and the guys send her some selfies. Each man claims to be single. But in fact, only one of them doesn't have a girlfriend. Can you guess who? Brian sent Kim a cute bathroom selfie. But take a closer look at his shelf. He has one male razor and another pink razor, which probably belongs to his girlfriend. So goodbye, Brian. Meanwhile, Kyle took a selfie in his bedroom. Luckily, he left the closet open so we could see his girlfriend's clothes and shoes. So only Harry is a single person, and Kim should give him a chance. Jenny goes for a walk to her favorite park, Suddenly, she gets attacked by a crowd of zombies. Jenny gets terrified and begins to run away. There are three possible routes in front of her, but only one of them will actually take Jenny to a shelter. Can you help her escape? Jenny should choose Route C. Ethan owns a successful flower shop, but today he's very upset. Someone has stolen all the red roses from the storage room. Ethan questions three suspects among his staff. Leah, the chief florist, says, I spent the whole day creating bouquets with pink lilies for a wedding ceremony. Donna, the manager, says, 
I don't know who stole the roses. I didn't even enter the storage room today. I was consulting our clients all day long. And finally, Mike the florist assistant says, Fresh red roses were delivered early in the morning. I brought them to the storage room, and I've never entered it again. Who's lying? Leah. There are no pink lilies in the bouquets that she made. Lauren changes a six-number password on the office door to avoid thefts. She leaves this little clue for all her colleagues. Bagel. Can you guess the correct code? To solve this mystery, we should calculate the number of each given letter in the alphabet. B implies 2, A implies 1, G7, and so on. So the final password is 217512. Helen meets a handsome guy at a supermarket. She falls in love at first sight. His name is Robert, and he came here with his sister. Can you guess which one of these ladies is his sister? It's the third woman. She's the only one who's shopping without a separate cart or basket because Robert carries it. The police officer is chasing Kendra who had just robbed a jewelry store. The teenager sneaks into the nearest school and the officer follows her. She notices Kendra's hoodie by one of the doors and enters the classroom. There she sees four students who look like Kendra. Can you decide who's the real robber? This one is Kendra. She has neither books nor pens on her desk. Let's go ahead and take a look at these two pictures. Can you spot 10 differences between them? Ready to see the solution? Here are the 10 differences. It's a Sunday afternoon. Most people are spending it at the local shopping mall. Nothing usually happens here. But suddenly a man snatches a woman's bag and runs away. The woman calls a security guard and yells, Don't just stand here! Go after him! But the thief has already disappeared into the crowd. Can you help the guard find the thief? He's over here. Sam gets promoted and throws a fancy party for his best friends. Josh, Kate, Brad, Bill, and Holly. Everything goes great. But the next morning, Sam finds out that someone broke into his safe and stole his family treasure, a golden egg. Sam questions his friends, but each swears to have nothing to do with the theft. The police officer looks through the pictures that Sam took yesterday. After comparing these two shots, he spots the thief. What about you? Yesterday, Holly was wearing a classy hat. In the first picture, the hat is pressed close to her head. And on the second one, the very same hat is much taller. That's because she hid the golden egg inside it. Violet returns from a business trip. She enters her office and sees a beautiful gift basket on her table. There's a love note from a secret admirer attached to the package. Violet gets very curious. She figures out three suspects and asks them just one question. Did you send me the gift basket? Liam replies, Nope, I would have sent you sunflowers instead. I know you love them. Jason says, I overslept today, and I've just arrived at the office, so I wouldn't have had time to prepare a surprise for you. And Kenny says, I didn't send the basket, but when I entered your room in the morning to put some documents on your desk, the basket was already there. Who's the secret admirer? The love note is written on a pink sticker. Kenny has similar sticker notes in his workspace, and his handwriting is very similar to the love note. Busted. Tyler receives a message from his new girlfriend, Kitty. She invites him over for dinner. Tyler has never been to her house yet. 
He takes his scooter and hits the road right away. But unfortunately, he gets lost on the way. His navigator breaks down and shows him three confusing routes. Can you guess what route leads to Kitty's house? Tyler should take the first route. Alex is heading to a family dinner, but he's really broke and he only has eight chocolates. He needs to divide them equally between his three sisters. How many cookies would each sister get? Zero. Alex has chocolates, not cookies. Nellie's father has five daughters. The name of the eldest daughter is April. The second daughter is May. The third one is June. And the fourth daughter's name is July. Can you guess the name of his fifth daughter? Nellie. A gardening fair takes place in a village. The top five local gardeners show their best flowers. But one of them brought fake plants to prank the villagers. Can you spot the fake? Bumblebees fly around all the plants except for the fourth flower pot. Insects don't get attracted to these roses because they're artificial. Dylan is exploring a remote forest area. Soon he gets lost and has no idea where to go. Luckily he comes across a small cabin in the woods and sees a forester. Dylan. Hello, could you please tell me how I can get to the railway station? Forester. Go down this trail until you reach a crossroads. There you'll see a rock with signboards. Just remember, the left one lies and the right one tells the truth. Dylan follows his advice and soon finds the rock. Can you guess which way he should go to reach the station? Since the left sign is lying and the right one is the truth, Dylan should walk straight ahead. Claire puts on a classy white suit and goes for a walk. Suddenly a big dog pops out of nowhere and jumps on her. The dog stains Claire's outfit with dirty paws. She gets furious and yells, Whose dog is this? Can you spot the owner of this animal? It's the second lady. She's wearing the same collar as her dog. Hi, my favorite detective. I've got a new portion of tricky riddles for you to train your sharp mind. Let's start. Yeah. One summer night, Emily threw a big party. But in the morning, she discovered that someone had stolen all her jewelry and money. Oh, no. The police have three suspects. Daniel, Emily's boyfriend, Lily, her best friend, and Hannah, the girl's sister. Daniel told the police that he'd been playing computer games with his friend all night long. Lily felt sick and went home in the middle of the night. She said she knew nothing about the theft when the police called her. And Hannah said that she had stayed at the party till 7 a.m. and then had taken a taxi home because nobody could give her a lift. It was dark and she couldn't see anything. Who was lying? Hannah, at 7 a.m. in the summer, it's already light outside. One day, a famous soccer coach went missing right from the changing rooms. The police had three suspects, and all of them were from his team. Brandon said that after the training, he'd stayed on the pitch to practice a bit more. He hadn't been to the changing room yet. Andrew swore that after the training, he had gone outside to meet with his girlfriend. And James said, when I was leaving the changing room, the coach was still there. Who's behind the disappearance of the coach? It's Brandon. He said he hadn't been to the changing room yet. But look, he's wearing not his uniform, but his street clothes. Once, a mad professor kidnapped Zoe and held her in his house. Was he planning to experiment on her? 
There was no way the young woman could escape. But one day, the scientist got bored. You'll have to make breakfast for me tomorrow. If I like it, I'll let you go. If not, no one will hear about you again. <laughs> In the morning, Zoe went to the kitchen and started cooking. But when she turned away from the stove, the scientist threw a whole box of salt into the pot. However, when Zoe served him breakfast, he realized he had to set the girl free. Can you figure out what Zoe cooked? The girl boiled eggs. A man on a motorbike crashed into the window of Mr. Ruby's store, grabbed several expensive watches, and drove away. When the police arrived, Mr. Ruby told them that he was almost sure it had been his nephew, Patrick. The officers went to visit the guy. Because of a heavy downpour, it took them one hour to get there. Patrick was at home, together with his friend. Look at the weather! I haven't been outside since yesterday! Patrick's friend confirmed his words, but the police didn't believe their story and arrested Patrick. Why? The guy's helmet is hanging on his motorbike. If it had been there since the previous day, it would have been filled with rainwater by now. Four friends went to a cafe together. Two of them, Linda and Mike, ordered a large pot of blueberry tea. Kirsten took some lemonade and Oscar opted for orange juice. Half an hour later, Linda and Mike lost consciousness and were rushed to a hospital. When the police analyzed the tea they had drunk, they found poison in it. The main suspects were, of course, Kirsten and Oscar. Why didn't they drink the tea? Kirsten said that she didn't like tea with berries. And Oscar explained that he was allergic to blackberries. Who is the culprit? It's Oscar. He said he was allergic to blackberries, but the tea his friends drank was with blueberries. David worked at a construction site. Once, someone attacked him and the unconscious man was taken to a hospital. Police officers who arrived to investigate the case had three suspects who also worked at the construction site. Alex, Ryan, and John. Alex said, I was putting all tiles on the roof when the accident happened. Ryan confessed that he'd been sleeping under the tree. And John claimed that he'd been laying bricks at that time. Can you figure out who's lying? Alex was the one to hurt David. The building has no roof yet, so he couldn't be putting tiles up there. You've bought a cute little rabbit at a pet store. The animal can breed every two months, and every time it will deliver five babies. How many rabbits will you have in a year? You'll have just one rabbit. If you want to have little bunnies, you have to buy two rabbits. Look at these people attentively. Who is a mer person? Pay attention to every little detail. It's the guy on the right. Look, his hands are webbed. Allison won the main prize of $1 million on a game show. But when the shooting was over, it turned out that the host of the show oh, no. had disappeared, together with the prize. The police managed to log into the computer in his office. They saw that the host had sent this message to his girlfriend. It looked like the host had told his girlfriend where he was going. The police went to the airport, but which flight was the host going to catch? Can you figure it out? Now let's see, the first two letters of Atlas are A-T. If we take three letters from the word land, it'll leave us with L-A-N. And the two first letters of tattoo are T-A. Together, these letters make up the word Atlanta. Hurry to the gate, officers! Jack got lost in the woods. 
Suddenly, he saw a castle. The man rushed there and was greeted by the owner of the castle. You have to answer just one question. If you win, I'll show you the way out of the forest. But if you lose, you'll never leave my castle. Jack agreed. The owner asked, There are four mirrors on the wall. One of them reflects fire-spitting dragon Niren. The second, beautiful mermaid Laura. In the third mirror, you can see a terrifying vampire Sam. And in the fourth, unicorn David. You have to figure out which reflection isn't real and fast. The reflection of Vampire Sam isn't real. Vampires can't be reflected in mirrors. A businessman arrived at his office after a long trip and discovered that some important documents had disappeared from his desk. He immediately called the police and a detective arrived shortly after. After interviewing all the workers, he had a list with three suspects on it. They were Emma, the accountant, Sophia, the receptionist, and James, a sales manager. But each of these people claimed that they hadn't even been inside the businessman's office. Still, it didn't take long until the detective figured out who was lying. Can you do the same? The thief is James. Both women wear high heels in the office, but the footprints on the floor are obviously left by sneakers. You throw me when you need me and pick me up when you don't need me. Can you figure out what I am? Right you are, I'm an anchor. How can you increase 66 by 1.5 if you aren't allowed to make any mathematical operations? Hurry up and crack this riddle! Just turn 66 upside down. It was Mr. and Mrs. Smith's wedding anniversary and Mrs. Smith was going to put on diamond earrings her husband had presented her for their wedding. But when she opened her jewelry box, she saw that the earrings weren't there. She called her daughters, Dora and Laura. I've told you so many times not to touch my things. Who took my jewelry this time? Dora exclaimed, I haven't touched your jewelry box. Laura also denied taking her mom's stuff. I don't even wear earrings. Can you figure out which girl is lying? It was Laura who stole the earrings. Her mom didn't specify which piece of jewelry was missing, 